Ta-da! Hey guys, Miss Jen from the Discovery Museum. Today I'm going to show you my favorite type of artwork. I love playing with clay. I like making things uh, out of pottery. So I'm going to show you how to make a piece of pottery on the potter's wheel, but also how to make a piece of pottery um, called pinch pot that you can do in your own home. So really quickly, I wanted to show you um, to make a piece of pottery on the potter's wheel, you need to have your clay centered, and then once it's centered, you're going to take your thumbs, and you're gonna put your thumbs right in the center and make a hole. Now you wanna go down like seven eighths of the way. You don't wanna go down all the way, because if you go down all the way, well, then you got a hole in the bottom of your pot. So, you're gonna add some water because you're gonna be hitting some fresh clay that doesn't have any moisture in it and then when you get to the bottom you're gonna kind of stretch your pot out a little bit using your thumbs and then once you or once your pot is big enough that you can put your fingers in it you are going to slow the wheel down a little bit and you're gonna use your thumb and your fingers and I also put a sponge in there and you are slowly gonna work your way up using a little bit of gentle pressure you're going to press, work your way up, and this is going to make the walls of your piece of pottery. Now you can turn this, when your walls are thin enough, you can turn this into a bowl or a cup or a vase. So I'm going to keep using some gentle pressure and slowly and surely this is going to turn into an ice cream bowl. Ice cream is my favorite snack. I am going to turn this into a bowl. So I'm going to start stretching it out, making the walls a little bit wider. Now I want my, my ice cream bowl to be big enough to have an ice cream sundae. So it's going to have to be quite large, huh? So I'm gonna keep working on stretching and making my walls a little bit thinner and a little bit taller and a little bit more stretched out, a little bit wider. What do you think? Do you think this is big enough or do you think we need to go a little bit bigger? I'm thinking we might have to go a little bit bigger. Let's go a little bit wider. So, to make a pinch pot, you're using a lot of the same methods. I think that's a good size. What do you think? I think we could definitely get at least four scoops of good ice cream in there. Now, to make a pinch, you're going to use the same method. Now, i got to scrape my fingers off because they're a little bit goofy. But basically, you're going to take a ball of clay. Now, you can use clay, or you can use model magic, or you can use Play-Doh. Um, and you are going to take a ball of clay, make it into a lump, and then you're going to take your thumb, just like I did in the center, you're going to press into the center of your ball of clay, and then you're going to use your thumb and your fingers, and you're going to press a little bit at a time, like this motion, right? You're going to press a little bit at a time, use some gentle pressure, add some water it gets too dry, and you're slowly going to start making the walls of your clay a little bit thinner. And you're going to start stretching them out towards the top. Now you can smooth them out as you go, or you can smooth them at the end. But you can see mine is growing quite a bit. So you're going to slowly flatten. Now remember, you're going to go about seven eighths of the way, which is not all the way, right? Because if you go all the way, what happens to your pot? You have a hole in the bottom of it. So now if you want this to be a little bit wider out, you can start stretching it out. Maybe you want to use this for your ice cream bowl? I don't know. You can, the, the really fun part about clay is that it leaves prints. You can use your fingers to leave marks. You can use tools to scrape along the edge. You can use stamps to press a design into it when it's a little bit more dry. The, um, the neat thing about clay is that it's totally moldable. And if you don't like what you created, you can always Go back and try again. You could squish it up and start fresh. 
or you can use a little bit of water and you can smooth away what you did and go back and try something different. So, this is my favorite type of art. It might not be your favorite type of art, but it sure is a fun way to get messy. So, I recommend that you get some clay, model magic, play-doh, something mushy, and try to create something cool from it.